Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm having a problem right now, Brandon. Uh, I can't stay focused. Is this something where I want to increase my sharpness? Only if you're only increasing it to the amount that it should be sharpened. But how do you know what an image can handle or should be able to handle, whether it's a still image or a moving image, a video? Have you ever watched a movie and the people kind of looked like they were cardboard cutouts because there was a little bit of a black border that kind of went all the way around them. Or Hayden Christensen was in the film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what happens is that when you over... Sorry, Hayden. I... That's for the prequels. When you over sharpen something, the way that sharpness works is you add to the contrast between the edges. So you artificially add a little bit of a black line or darken or lighten one of them right at the edge in order to make it look like it's more in focus. What you're really doing is just adding this line around them, which does help you detect edges. If you're playing a video game, it can help you spot you know, the characters and things like that that might have been hard to see otherwise. But you're also sharpening all of the noise. So if you've got a noisy signal where the film grain, because of you know a shot on film, is over sharpened, now what was just a small little speck is a small little speck with a black line around it and is much easier to see. If you under sharpen, and you know, since you usually just have a sharpness setting, you don't have under sharpen or out of focus or well, like blurry a, a mode. Blur. Well, you can blur, <laughs> you, like you, a Gaussian you can, blur. You, you can blur in a photo editing. When you're talking about a display, though, there's not usually a, I would like to blur my display. Right. But there are times when it makes sense to slightly out of sharpen, under sharpen an item because what you want to do is hide some of the noise mm. or you want to hide some of the blockiness if you're watching a, you know, highly compressed signal or you know even satellite sometimes where you end up with the weird gradients or the blockiness running the sharpness down a little bit can hide those things hmm, interesting and running the sharpness up on the other side can make those blocks really really Pop. punchy yeah.